Okay. So to, we're going to come into the Padmasana uh, sequence. It's the wind relieving sequence um, that I mentioned at the start. And the first position I want you to come into, they're all, we're practicing all of this seated. The first position is a diamond shape. So you can have the legs close in, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'd have them further away. So there's a fairly long diamond shape to your seated position and make sure that your sit bones are comfortable. Then you can have your hands on your knees or you could link your fingers in front of you. And you're going to start circling the pelvis. Okay, so this isn't happening at the waist, this is happening lower down and you can, you can start off small and gradually make these circles bigger. And you, know, you could do a practice where you do maybe four or five circles, four or five of each of these. So let's pause here and then do, let's say five the other way. Okay, and then come back up to, come to your centre. Okay, so legs stay in the same position. You're going to breathe in and reach your arms high up. And then as you breathe out, you're going to bow forwards. Don't force yourself down into a super big, strong stretch. Remember, we're just warming up here. Inhale, come back up. So really reach up, but use your rib cage to lift you. And then exhaling, draw the navel in a little bit as you fold downwards towards your feet. Three more, breathing in, coming up. Let the, lip, the ribs lift you. And exhale to fold down. Two more, breathing in. And breathing out. Okay, so it changes a little bit now. Breathing in, coming up. The hands lift. And you have a choice, you're going to twist. So one hand's going to come to the front, one hand's going to come to the back. So this is variation number one. Let's inhale and come back up to face forwards. And then let's exhale to face the other way. So twisting the other way. Okay, so this is variation number one. And if you feel that you'd prefer, you stay with the spine upright. Or version number two is to fold down as you twist. So you're folding towards one knee. Then you're inhaling, coming back up towards the center, looking good everyone, turning the other way. And if you want, you fold towards the knee. So don't fold down if you feel that that is, you're not feeling strong for that today. Just stay in the twist version instead, okay? So keep going, breathing in to lift you back to the center and then breathing out to twist you to the side, good. Let's do one more on each side, please. Breathing in and breathing out, if you like. Folding. Breathing in and breathing out. Good job. Come back up towards your centre and the hands come up again. And then this time, as you exhale, one hand comes to the floor and you stretch your side body. Breathe in. The hands can come back up to the ceiling and breathe out to the other side. So lots of these are really familiar movements because we do them a lot at the start of our practice. Keep going, breathing in and breathing out. And in and out. Two more on each side, breathe in. And out. One more on each side. Yeah, keep going, last one. Okay, so come back up to the center, arms lift. And then as you exhale, you're folding forwards and down. But as you inhale, drag the back of your hands around past your knees and to the floor behind you so that you can open your chest and squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then the arms reach up. So all of that's going to happen on your in-breath. 
And then as you exhale, you're going to fold back down towards the left. So it's inhaling, hands slide back, heart open, shoulder blades squeeze and then lift the hands. And then exhaling to fold forwards, draw the navel in a little bit. Inhaling, rolling back, front body lengthens, arms lift and exhale. Two more, breathing in. And out. Last one, breathe in. And out. And we'll pause here down in the forward fold just for a couple of breaths. Okay. So that's round one. And I hope you can start to feel a little bit of warmth in your body. Let's take an inhalation and lift ourselves back up. Bring the knees back towards one another and sit with your legs now straight. Okay, so stage two, we just change the leg position. The legs remain straight, but they don't have to be dead straight like in a dandasan. You can have the ankles soft, the toes soft if you want. And remember, it's just about moving with where your body naturally is able to go. So we can link the hands or we can rest the hands on the legs and we're going to start with the circles happening in the pelvis. So four or five of these. And then pause and go the other way. Good. And then pause. Okay, so it's folding forwards next, breathing in, the arms lift. And breathing out, drawing the navel in a little bit, tucking the chin in and folding to your own measure, not forcing. Breathe in and come up. Breathe out and fold down. And we'll do two more. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in, last one. And out. Breathe in, hands lift up. Doesn't matter which way you twist, but remember it's either a twist and staying upright or you can fold a little to the side. Breathing in, returning back to the center. Breathing out and turning to look the other way. In and up to the center. Exhale and spin. Inhale and lift. Exhale, so go at your own pace. You can fold a little bit to the side because that gets into the side of the waist a little bit more. So if your spine's feeling a bit vulnerable or you're not feeling strong, don't do the, the side bend, just leave it out. One more on each side. Good job. Okay, side bends come next. So breathe in. Doesn't matter which way you go first. Just a little bit of a lean over to the side. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, lean to the other side. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the side. Inhale. And exhale. Two more on each side. So you start to use your breath now. So as you breathe in through the nose, lift yourself and find space in your body. 
And as you breathe out into the stretch, enjoy the sensation of length as you release. Inhaling, last one. And exhale. Okay, back up to the centre, breathe in. And it's folding forwards gently as you breathe out. As you breathe in, drag the back of the hands back, lifting chest and then opening arms up. And then exhaling to gently fold. Inhaling to open up front body. Exhale to fold down. One more time, breathing in. And fold. And again, pause here. Just let the backs of the hands rest, the chin towards the chest. Take two or three breaths. and then slowly lift yourself back up okay so that was stage two there's one last stage to come and that's where we change the leg position into that of a wide legged so you don't have to go super wide you can be wherever you feel comfortable and it's exactly the same movements but just with the legs just changing legs and i'm, I'm pretty sure that now you're feeling nice and warm and as a standalone practice, this becomes a really nice thing. So if you haven't got a lot of time or a lot of space, you just want to do something, this is a nice place to, to or a nice thing to do. Okay, so circles first of all. I'm going to take my feet like that. And you could link the hands and start to reach out. Good. Pause in the middle, then go the other way. Last one. And you next get back to your centre. Wait there. Good job. Okay. So we'll take the forward folds next. So breathing in, the hands lift up. And again, don't force yourself into these deep movements. Just let your body reach forwards to your own measure. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Three more inhales. And exhale. Inhale. Last one, exhale. Okay, we're coming up to centre. We're going to take a twist. You go whatever way you like. So remember the twist can stay upright or you can fold a little bit to the side. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, turning to the other side and maybe a little bit of a fold down. Keep going. Do one more on each side. Make sure that you've done both sides equally. And then it's the side bends that come up next. So breathe in. And as you exhale, gentle lean over, lengthen side body. Inhale back up. Exhale to the side.
Okay, we're gonna do one more on each side. Good, come back up. And then it's the fold forwards as you exhale. Then it's inhaling the arms, go back behind you, the chest opens and the arms lift up. Exhaling to fold down. Inhaling to roll front body open and lift. Exhale. And then the next time that you fold forwards, stay there. Take two or three breaths. And then slowly inhale your way back up. Lean back a little bit into your hands to ease the legs closer together. Give them a little bit of a shake out, well done. And then return your feet back to the start position. Okay. And then we'll fold down to finish to close the practice off. So have the feet in wherever, wherever is comfortable for you. Fold down to your own measure, relax your shoulders, Bring your chin towards your chest. And if this isn't an entirely comfortable leg position, feel free to substitute it with a cross legs or a legs out straight, whatever works better for you and what you need today. We'll pause here, we'll just take a few extra breaths, letting the body sink and settle down. Good job. And then I'd like you to, on an inhalation, ease yourself back up. Good. Okay. So as I said, as a standalone, that can be practiced um, as a warm-up for other activities or just as a practice in and of itself. If you, if you don't feel like standing but you want to do something, it's a nice way to get you moving. Um, and get and get your body and your spine moving, which is the most important thing. 